Remember that little helicopter on Mars, that whole situation there? Well, it's back at it. And look who's back on the morning show. Meteorologist Paul Gross, good to see you. So Ingenuity recently made its 12th flight, Paul, and this time it's helping it's helping out with a science mission. So tell us about that. Yeah, they've already tested this thing. I mean, they know it works, Rhonda. So now they're putting it to good use. They're putting it to work. And this latest flight was its longest, most ambitious flight yet. So let's take a look at some images from this latest flight. Now, keep in mind, the rover itself is looking for places with sedimentary rocks. Those are indicative of areas where water used to flow there on Mars. And just as importantly, a safe route to and from those places. Now, it was originally thought that Perseverance needed to drive west to find some of this stuff, but Ingenuity has found some much closer to the south, and that would save time if they decide to drive that way. It was the longest flight yet, nearly three minutes long. And remember that without ingenuity, scientists would have to identify these areas from orbit. So now you see how important this little helicopter has come. And by the way, an update on the Perseverance rover itself. Now, one of its mission objectives is to drill core samples. They're going to put these in tubes, and then they're going to be brought back to Earth by another mission about 10 years from now. So the, the rover drilled its first core sample but the rock ended up being so soft that it crumbled, it all just crumbled into dust, so it couldn't pick up the core and put it in the tube. So that actually is important science. It tells us that that rock was much softer than we expected, so they're now gonna travel to a much more sturdier, harder looking rock in the distance and try to drill a core sample into that and get that first core sample taken. So we'll keep you updated on developments as they occur.